surprise it that they want to do that. I mean, if this is truly a melting pot in the country where we care about it and Lady Liberty got a hand like this, she really loves us, then we really need to be like that. And it needs to be the black kids. And if there's a, a white person who got money, then he need to help them. He need to help black kids, Mexican kids, Korean kids, whatever. But it needs to be real. And it need to be before we all die and then you say, oh, I made a mistake. We should have gave them some money. We really should have helped these folks. It's going to be too late. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when you got to pay your own karma. And that's when God make you punish. When, you, when God punishes you. Because I feel like, you know, it's too much money here. I mean, nobody should be hitting lotto for 36 million and we got people starving in the streets. That is not idealistic. That's just real. That is just stupid. There's no way Michael Jackson should have, or whoever Jackson, should have a million thousand, drupal billion dollars and then there's people starving. There's no way. There's no way that these people should own planes and their people don't have houses, apartments, shacks, drawers, pants. If they earned it, then I, then I think that that's good and I, I think that they deserve it. But even if you earned it, you still owe. Because look at me, I'm not, I don't have that mega money, but I feel guilty walking by somebody. I, I got to give them some mail. And if I know I got $3,000 three, $3, in my pocket, I feel like it's wrong to give that person a quarter or a dollar. It's wrong. Only you know what you got in your pocket. And that's wrong. No matter what they do, if they take it and drink it, they take it and drink it. But, I mean, you got... You understand and we all know how hard it is and it's not about if you good or you bad. So since it's not about if you good or you bad, we know that because he don't got don't mean he was bad. Or don't mean he's a criminal or don't mean he's crazy or a drug addict or none of that. It just means he don't got. And ain't it bad that you got 30, I mean, can you imagine somebody having 32 million dollars? 32. 32 million dollars and this person has nothing and you can sleep? You can still go to the movies about, I mean, I mean, and then these, these are the type of people that get humanitarian awards. Millionaires. How can they be humanitarians by the fact that they millionaires and there's so many poor people shows how unhumane they are. You know what I'm saying? And that, that bugs me. Not saying that when I'm never going to be rich and I'm never, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying it's a struggle and I think everybody deserves it. And I think there's a way to pay these people. I think there is a way. It just takes to be revolutionary. And it takes to, to do something out of the ordinary. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that if we just said, okay, 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 okay. I got an idea. No more porno buildings. You know what I'm saying? Let's build houses. Or no more polo games. Let's build houses for poor people. You know what I'm saying? Or look, okay, I know you're rich. I know you got $40 billion. But can you just keep it to one house? You only need one house. And if you only got two kids, can you just keep it to two rooms? I mean, why well, have 52 rooms and you know there's somebody with no room? It just don't make sense to me. It don't. And then these people celebrate Christmas. They got big trees, huge trees, all the little trimmings. Everybody got gifts and there's somebody starving. And they're having a white Christmas. They're having a great Christmas. Eggnog and the whole nine. That's not fair to me.